my kitchen. Today I am sharing with you another charcuterie board and this one is a s'mores board. I think it's perfect for summer and even going into fall. I've had such the itch to go camping and specifically to make s'mores and we don't have a fire pit so this is the closest I'm getting to a good s'more but I'm gonna show you guys a really good dip to go on this board so let's go ahead and let's get started. So for my s'mores dip, I just took my cast iron skillet and I greased it really well and then on the bottom I took my Hershey bar and I kind of broke it up and layered that on the bottom first and then right on top I placed my big marshmallows vertically. You could do mini marshmallows here but I really liked how the big ones looked and then I put this in the oven at 450 for 5 minutes and it turned out perfect and got really brown on top which I love. That is like the perfect marshmallow to me. Um, so that was super simple. And then for my board, I chose a huge board. You can do something way smaller. Um, but I did have the cast iron skillet that was kind of big. So I knew it would take up a lot of room. But anyways, I just have some graham crackers. Those little bars are Scooby-Doo um, graham crackers that are like cinnamon flavored. They are so good, especially in that s'mores dip. And then I had some cookies, some extra marshmallows some more Hershey bar um, and then over in my other little bowl I have some peanut butter so I tried to put things around that bowl that I know I could dip in the peanut butter so I did some apples pretzels strawberries just a whole variety of things of course you can add whatever you like to your board but this is kind of how I did mine So I envision this board sitting on a picnic table at a campground in the late summer evenings or in the fall. I just think this would be perfect for entertaining, especially if you have a camper or an RV of some type and you have a kitchen where you can prepare this. It would just be absolutely perfect for entertaining and then you can also make s'mores off of this board or you can eat the s'mores dip. So I think it's just a perfect variety um, and it's just so fun. So I also added to this board some of those cookies and cream Hershey bar and some Reese's cups that way you can choose those instead of the regular Hershey to make your s'more which I thought was so fun and creative I've seen so many people make s'mores that way I for sure need to try that out because it sounds so good and then I also added some more fruit I added some chocolate Oreos some vanilla Oreos and then for my filler I did the mini marshmallows but in the end when I was looking at this board there was just an overwhelming amount of marshmallows so I did end up taking some of those off this is a huge board keep in mind so if you have a smaller one you probably won't need as much filler um, but there is no perfect way to this you cannot mess these things up so just play around with this and have some fun and then um, that is about it to this board so this turned out so cute and it's so perfect for summer so for sure let me know if you guys try this one out as well Here is what this looks like when it is all done. I love it. This board was a challenge for me because I used such a big board and I actually wish I had more stuff because I would like some more filler, but I feel like there's already a ton of marshmallows on here. Um, but anyways, you can use a smaller board, which I actually recommend and kind of wish I would have done a smaller board. Anyways, I also cannot believe how easy this dip was to make and I cannot wait to try it. I will let you guys know how it is, but overall, I love how this one turned out. 
Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you guys ever make any charcuterie boards based off of my videos, I would love to see your pictures of them. So tag me over on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle down below. But that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.